Well, good morning, YouTube, and welcome along to this episode of Silver Fox Travels. Today is the 11th of October, and uh, today is the day that I'm meeting up with uh, James and uh, Tame and uh, Ice Diddy and Derek from Solo Motor UK, Ian Hughes, and uh, various others. And we're going to be meeting up at uh, Burton on the Water in uh, in the Cotswolds. So the plan is that uh, I'm going to meet up with uh, James at uh, the Woolly Edge services and uh, we'll uh, have a ride down the motorway until we get to our place of uh, residence, <laughs> the Travel Lodge at um, Bicester, or just outside Bicester anyway. So uh, without further ado, let's get this show on the road. Right, we've made it to Woolly Edge and we're on the uh, M1 making our way down. We're we, we just stopped for the tea and coffee break. Let's carry on. Right, so we're at Tip Shelf Services now and we're just going to have a quick brew <laughs> and a bagel which has got bacon and egg in it. Right, so we made it to uh, Leicester Forest East and uh, we're, we've only got about, um, I don't know, 60 odd miles left to do before we get to our, uh, to our travel lodge. And we've made it. Here we are at the travel lodge, at uh, just outside Bicester. First things first, petrol. We 
in a place called Aino. A Y H N O. Unusual name. Deddington. This is Deddington here. Uh, could this be what he's going to turn up when it says tractors turning? Probably not. Oh, well. The fox is going to want to wash after this. Eight hundred yards for turning left. Seven hundred yards. Let's hope he's not turning left too. <laughs> Let's hope he goes straight on or right. Damn, he would be going our way, wouldn't he? Oh, they're over there. That'll do. Okay, so here we have all the bikes. There's my uh, silver fox. James is Hainsworth Ryder, Ice Diddy, Ian Hughes, and everybody else down here. And that, uh, that's pretty much all the bikes that we've got for today. Let's get inside where it's uh, dry, and I can get a nice cup of coffee. There we are, there's the whole gang of reprobates. <laughs> well then, good to see you, good to see you all. Hi there. Derek. Derek, hello, how are you? Good to see you mate. Here. Right, let's get this helmet off. <laughs> right, we're all just waiting for Derek now to... Uh, lead off uh, that should be happening fairly soon I hope you're gonna follow me Are we are following you no you're following me I'm following everybody else right and it would appear we're off now, so long as Derek keeps it down to something below warp factor 9, we should all be able to stick together. Got James behind me. And I've got the uh, rear camera going now as well, so we uh, should get some nice images as we go along. Hopefully the rain will hold off. It's quite sunny now. The river is quite up though, if you look here on my left. Looks like we're being told off by a goose. <laughs> Morning goose.
Right, we're off again. Right, here we are in uh, Chipping Norton with a defibrillator in a phone box. <sighs> in uh, quite an interesting ride to get here. Some pretty damn bumpy roads on the way. But uh, yeah, this will do nicely. Right, camera's off. So pretty much that's that, we've uh, all broken up, everybody's heading for home or wherever they're going to next and uh, as you can see I've got James behind me, we're heading for uh, a place to eat which is called uh, the Trigger Pond, uh, not too far away from where the hotel is, so that should be quite interesting. So really that's pretty much the end of this particular trip 
Uh, tomorrow we're heading for home, so that's just a, a ride up the uh, the M1 motorway. So that's not going to be particularly exciting in any way. So I'll end the video in my usual way by saying I hope you've enjoyed watching this and uh, look after yourselves, look after the people around you and until next time, bye for now. So that was the meetup and I hope you enjoyed watching that. Just thought I'd run through a few bits and pieces uh, of uh, what happened uh, to my equipment as, uh, as I made my way back home. As you can see from the photographs, my um, over trousers, they had a bit of a problem in that um, they must have been too close to either the exhaust or the engine generally, because as you can see, it uh, melted a patch, which uh, I can fix, I think, with uh, some uh, tape. Uh, but uh, I might be on the lookout now for a new pair. Not being very lucky when it comes to over trousers. And as you can see, the bike is in an absolutely filthy condition, so it's going to be a case of getting the muck off out and uh, giving it a good old clean uh, over the next couple of days because uh, all that crud is going to take some shifting. Now, I'd like to chat about some of the equipment that I took with me uh, when we went down there because uh, I have to say it was really quite a cold morning when we set off. Now I have these RST gloves which are battery operated. They have uh, two little batteries which um, go into the cuff. Each battery is that size and there's a, a neat little compartment just in there where the battery fits in there. Now I found that on a full charge these batteries quite literally lasted all day. Um, I didn't have it on, uh, on the highest setting, I had it on the minimum setting because that's all I needed just to keep my hands warm as we were riding. And I also used this uh, Kais heated vest which runs on a bigger battery, which is that size, and uh, that again on uh, just the low setting kept me warm all the way down there because trust me it was quite chilly whizzing along at 60 odd miles an hour uh, with a cold wind blowing at you uh, in very cold conditions uh, you need that kind of kit so I highly recommend heated gloves and a heated vest good thing about the gloves of course is that they're not connected to the bike so I can use them either on on the Fox or on the Cub um, or generally I can if I'm going out and it's a really cold day I can just use them as gloves so um, yes I would recommend both of those bits of equipment on uh, these chilly frosty days so all that remains for me to do now is to uh, fill this up with some hot water and uh, get the muck off going and uh, for the next couple of days I'm going to be cleaning the fox so thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed all of this and uh, until next time Bye for now. <music>